Greetings everyone and welcome to today's tutorial video. In this video, I will demonstrate how to set up VAT types or VAT codes on Sage Cloud Accounting. Managing business spending and expenses isn't easy. Whether you're a business owner, employee, or accountant, stacks of admin, complicated accounting, losing track of purchases. Sound familiar? The solution starts with simplicity. Expend is the easy way to manage your business's finances, anytime, anywhere. Employees can spend seamlessly using an Expend card, bank card, or any other payment method. One-click approvals means business owners can review every purchase, every mile, and every invoice, all in real time. And for accountants, smart automation ensures complicated reconciliation is a thing of the past. It also connects with all their current solutions. One tool, endless possibilities. Freeing them up to focus on what really matters. This is how businesses should work. Work smarter. Automate with Expend. We'll utilize this tutorial question appearing on the screen to help us guide us through the steps of adding VAT types or codes on Sage Cloud Accounting. Before we dive into today's lesson, I'd like to mention if you are interested in gaining access to this software, whether it be for free usage or a subscription purchase or a physical product purchase, we have a collection of informative blog posts that can provide you with the guidance you need as appearing right there on this screen. So if you want to go and use this particular software for free, um, Sage has an option for you to go and utilize the Sage accounting 30 days free trial. So in this blog post, it explains how to gain free access and usage of this software for a generous free um 30 days for 30 days rest assured sage will never request your banking details during this free trial as this is completely free it's a risk-free opportunity to evaluate whether sage cloud accounting is suitable for your accounting needs so if you want to gain um, access to this particular blog post, we have a link just below this video um, to this particular blog post. As well, um, for those considering Sage as their go-to solution for accounting and other solutions such as payroll, we highly recommend that you check out this particular blog post right here which is regularly maintained and updated. This blog post right here provides you with valuable insights into securing significant discounts and coupons when you register or buy the Sage products through our affiliate links as appearing right there on the screen. These coupons are regularly updated ensuring that you continue to make substantial savings on your software subscription or purchase, whether it be for you or for someone else close to you that you know um, needs to get a subscription for Sage Cloud Accounting, Sage Payroll or Sage HR, Sage Intact, which will still be added to this particular um, list of savings that you can make. So on this um, coupons, if you click on this, um, perhaps if you want to go and um, subscribe for Sage Cloud Accounting, you can go and utilize this particular saving right here by clicking there, which will take you directly to Sage Cloud, um, Sage website, where you can go and utilize this particular um, saving right there, whether it be for yourself, the company that you work for or for someone close to you. 
in addition to the post that I um, demo showed to you, we have um, other comprehensive um, blog posts that might be beneficial to you. So if those two blog posts were of value to you, consider checking our blog. Um, the link has been provided just below this particular video. If you want to go and get um, yourself certified as Sage um, Payroll Practitioner, Sage um, Accounting Practitioner, you, um, you can go through this particular blog post here which um, demonstrate how to go about enrolling on Sage University and getting certified for free. We, if any of these blog posts um, on this blog were of value to you, we encourage you to connect with our blog community and support our growth by liking, sharing and commenting on our content. Big thanks to you in advance. We appreciate you. So let's dive right into today's um, tutorial tutorial um, where we'll be adding the VET codes or the VET types um, on Sage Cloud Accounting. VET is a crucial part of financial management for many businesses and getting it right is essential. Whether you are a small startup or growing enterprise, Proper VET setup in Sage Cloud Accounting ensures accurate reporting and compliance with tax regulations. So let's kick things off with a quick overview of the VET types that we have on our tutorial question and the VET types that are already on, um, on our software on, or, or on your company. So we'll start with the standard rate which most um, of us should be accustomed to this this is for the goods that are charged at a standard rate in your country um, in south africa the standard rate is 15 percent some of the vet codes that we find is reduced rate some items may be subject to a reduced vet rate often this include goods like food books or certain services in this case, we're going to set up a VAT of 10% for this particular um, VAT type. We have zero rated. Um, these are the goods that are subject to VAT at a 0%. Exempt, um, these are some of the items that may be exempt from VAT altogether, such as certain financial services or education. Um, VAT is not charged on this particular um, goods or services. We also going to add a partial exemption. Um, the businesses that are partially exempt from VAT may need to add this VAT type that reflect the different rate or rules that apply to your taxable and exempt supplies. In this case, we're going to add this VAT type at 6%. We have also the special schemes. If you are part of a special VAT scheme, um, for example, this be the flat rate scheme or the cash accounting scheme, you might need this specific VEC type for those particular transactions. In this case, we're going to add a 7% for that particular uh, VET type. We also have the last one being intra community supplies. If you are in a certain community, you may need this specific VET type for the transactions that are involving other members in that particular community. For example, if you are in the EU, you may need to you may need a specific VAT um, for the transactions involving other members of that particular EU, which will add at a VAT of three percent. So let's get into our system and add those VAT types. So to add the VET types on Sage Cloud Accounting, you need to go to Company and go to Change Company Settings. Once you get there, you need to hover over to VET Settings. So you'll notice now that 
when I go to the VET settings, the VET screen will open up with all the VET types that are already in the um, in your company. So we have um, the standard trade right there of 15%. Okay, so we're not going to um, add the standard rate or instead we're just going to delete that particular standard rate. We're going to delete the zero rate so that we can demonstrate how to add them using the rates that we have in, in our tutorial question. So I'm just going to scroll over to the last VAT type. So with the domestic reverse charges, this is the one that I needed to um, explain what it may relate to. So in some countries, you may need a VAT type for the domestic transactions that fall under the reverse charge rules. So if you are in that particular country, you might need to ensure that this VAT type is added um, at a correct um, VAT rate. So now to add the VAT rate, you're going to go over to the last one and click on that plus sign right there. The first one will be standard rate. So I'll just go there and copy standard rate. and paste it right there our standard rate is at 15 percent so you need to go and adjust that particular rate that right there to be at 15 percent so we know that um in most entities or in all um entities um the default um rate or the default um uh, yeah the default rate to be um applied to sales of goods purchases of goods it's standard rate so we're just going to add the default rate to be the standard rate i'm going to add another vet code which is the reduced rate so our reduced rate is at 10 percent so i'm going to hover over there to change the rate to 10 percent and then i'm going to add another um vet code being zero rate just going to copy that as well and add it right there which is at zero percent so we don't need to go and change this particular tax rate right there then i'm just going to add um another um VAT code that we have which is partial exemption partial exemption being at a rate of six percent so i'm just going to add that at a rate of six percent i'm going to add another VAT code that we have as per our tutorial question being special schemes also add it right there at a rate of seven percent and then we're going to add the last fed code that we have as per our tutorial question at a rate of three percent Then once you are done, you're going to click on save and close to update the VAT codes that we have. If you want to go and view those VAT codes that we have, we can go back um, right there on the VAT settings and we will notice that once we have added those, we now have those VAT codes that we have added. And then I'm just going to save all of this and close when creating a sales invoice now you need to make sure that you select the correct vet code this ensures that the correct vet is calculated and recorded and similarly when recording expenses you need to use the relevant vet code to ensure accurate financial tracking 
three things you're missing out on right now if you're not using TikTok ads. An engaged audience that's ready to find you, high quality ads that you can make directly from the app, and even with a small budget, you can get big results. Start creating and grow your business today. Thanks for watching. A like would be appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe.